Hi. Good evening. Welcome to the session. Hi. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? Welcome to the session. Yeah, I am well. And you, ma'am? Yeah, I am also doing absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. And how was your day? What did you do? Yeah, today is a normal day. Uh, first of all, first of all, uh, I want to say to thank you for giving this opportunity to to connect in, uh, with you. You're welcome. Today is a more very ex yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. So, can you give your short introduction? Okay. Uh, my name is Vithal Gadre, and I am from. I am the district Karnataka, but right now I am staying in Pune. I am a working person, and I have done my qualification in MCOM in Nadi. Mm. And uh, my so, yeah, that's all about myself. Oh, okay. Good to know about you. Actually, there is a network issue. I in between your video is getting stuck, and your voice is also breaking. It's a bit difficult for me to understand what you are saying. Okay. <coughs> no problem. Okay, are you talking to a stranger over a video call for the very first time? Yes, yes this is my first time session, and uh, your videos uh, I watched in many videos to, uh, mm -hmm. in YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Did you like I them? My, I, yes, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. What did you like the most in my videos? I yeah, every videos to. To uh, be helpful to improve in English communication, every video to like I'm like. Mm, thank you so much. Uh, okay, so what are your hobbies? What did you mention? Did you mention hobbies? Because I lost in between. Uh, yeah. Uh, my, my hobbies are playing cricket, swimming, and uh, learning new things more. Swimming. New wow. Yes. Wow. You know how to swim. Uh, yes, I. Mm, great. I don't. I don't know. I have. How can I say it? How to say? How to say it? Mm -hmm. okay. I have fear of water. Like I can so, say, I have hydrophobia. The phobia, hydrophobia. So <laughs> whenever I see a lot of water, okay. it it creates a kind of fear in me. So. And I think everybody should know how to yeah. swim because uh, anyone can face any kind of disaster yeah. at any time. So I think we should know how to swim. This should be a very essential skill, mandatory skill that uh, everybody should have. Okay. And uh, second, learning okay. new things is your hobby. <laughs> okay. uh, learning new things related to my work and. Uh... To new skills. Uh, okay, I what do I'm you... working in uh, the health insurance industry and uh, as a human. Oh, health insurance industry. Okay, good as to a, know. Yes, health insurance industry, and uh, I'm working in as a HR department. So most important to uh, communication is very important to the human resource department. Prior so, so to that's you, why I'm learning. In a... Okay, okay. Prior to you, I had a session with somebody around uh, six p. Today I'm okay. getting similar kind of people. <laughs> like prior to that, also <laughs> some somebody was like just like you. I don't know what it is. Mm, I'm trying okay. to understand what universe is showing me nowadays. Uh, though I'm enjoying everything, it's great to connect with people like you. Okay, so as you can see on screen, my name is Rajni Verma. I'm from Sri Ganganagar, Rajasthan, which is located on the border of Punjab. I have done my graduation in Korean language from JNU New Delhi and currently I am a YouTuber and I train people like big notes and intermediates. I provide paid sessions to them and apart from that if I talk about my pride and joy I love reading books. I love talking to people and nowadays I enjoy music too. So these are my hobbies and yeah that's all about me. Okay, well, very nice. Hmm. Uh, how so, may I help you? Do you have any question related to communication skills, English, and related to life, depression, yes, achievement, uh, success, anything? You can ask me anything. Okay. Uh, 
uh, first of all uh, uh, i want to i want to improve in english communication so i am okay. working mm-hmm. yeah so, so how to improve in english communications and uh, confidently so please stay confidently more. okay uh, first let me know what are the things that you have been doing in nutshell okay <coughs> sorry yeah what are the things that you are currently doing in Hello. order to uh, improve your communication skills like reading writing speaking listening learning words practicing with people what are the things okay. that you do <coughs> hmm. uh most important to uh, uh, first of all listening carefully and mm-hmm. uh, speaking writing and reading oh yeah. i am i'm a, i'm a, you, yeah i am every day uh, practicing english as a jos uh, in applications uh, as a 3 month i am uh, practicing this applications yeah mm-hmm. okay so uh, you know applic- already what are the things that we need to do and these are the things only the thing is that maintain a consistency do not expect results at the earliest that people have a mindset that okay in just 3 months i'll get results no it is a lifelong process okay, it takes okay. time gradually you will be able to incorporate new words idiom phrases by observing people by listening to people by reading a lot of books a lot of stuff articles in different genre so you know already and simultaneously okay. just learning words and repeating those words and i guess you practice with people too this is great again because whatever you input you are having getting uh, through listening and through reading you have to just give the output by practicing actually with people which also you have uh, been already doing on josh skill application so uh, what you really need now because apart from that there isn't anything that you can add this is just practice practice will make you definitely good at it i cannot say the perfect but good at it okay okay yeah, definitely i will uh... Hmm. so what are you struggling with uh struggling as in i am improving english communication and struggling this time mm. yeah okay and to uh, so my my work related to mm-hmm. i am uh, improving my skills okay okay so tell me what wh- what is life for you what what is life for you my life so uh, is a normal uh, mm-hmm. uh, what is life like if we talk about the definition if we talk about the perception uh, how do you see it how do you perceive it the life <laughs> yeah means <sir, laughs> i don't know yeah. okay can you read what is also, mentioned in the yeah there is a a little short paragraph i have mentioned in the chat box can you read it yeah life is a experience to being alive sorry being alive no. one second yes uh, be alive uh, involving growth and uh, change and the ability to respond to the environment it is uh, gen- it is a journey of exiting of exiting and finding meaning joy and purpose hmm hmm so life when you read when you read how you have to read it take a pauses pronounce each word properly out loud like life is the experience of being alive involving growth change and the ability to respond to the environment is the journey of existing and finding meaning joy and purpose so when you are aligned with yourself when you are able to help yourself and then you are able to help others this and when you feel when you do all these things when you feel content content means happy and satisfied it doesn't mean that you have a lot of wealth it means you have a meaningful okay. life okay sure okay yeah now tell me hello if if you if if we can say that that should be a there should be a purpose and we should serve something we should do something we are here on the earth uh and everybody has a purpose so how do you un- understand how do you feel that we can find the purpose of life 
Uh, <laughs> hmm. Any idea, any one line answer, if you can give how to find the purpose of our life or being here on the earth. Don't feel nervous. Don't think about the mistakes. Don't think if I will say something wrong, she will judge. No, nobody is going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. No. Can you read it? What is mentioned in the chat box? Read it slowly. Pronounce each word properly without hesitation. Okay. Hmm. Uh, the the purpose of life is to find meaning and uh, meaning and fulfillment throughout our experience, relationships, person, growth, and <clears throat> around this. Mm -hmm. So whenever you read, you know, put a little more attention. You should be more attentive when you are reading something. For example, you said uh, person growth. It's a personal growth. The purpose of life is to find meaning and fulfillment through experiences, okay. relationships, personal growth and contributing to the well-being of others and the world around us. Have you heard about the idiom or maybe it is a saying that nothing flows out of an empty cup? What do you understand by this? Nothing flows out of an empty cup. nothing flows out of empty cup it means if the cup is already empty nothing flows out of yes, yes. it yeah so if you are also empty within you cannot serve the society you can not serve the world around you you cannot add value or meaning to others life yeah so for that reason yes, first okay, you have to understand okay. yourself you have to you know make a good relationship okay with yourself you should have the alignment okay you should have the ability or you should develop the skill in yourself to understand yourself better only then you can understand them and only okay. then you can add value or only then you can help others once you start helping first yourself yeah in order to okay. find the purpose of life there are certain ways that you can follow and have been introduced by people who are spirituality awakened. Some gurus are there who are nowadays who are on social media too. It's not like if we are using the guru word, which means they are all are a, a fraud or something like that. Some of them are very, very uh, enlightened. They have that uh, like knowledge or uh, the spiritual thing that they can spread the uh, wisdom they they can help you in life in finding the purpose of your life in in finding your own self first and in that they always share and always mention that love yourself accept yourself and accept even the good or bad everything in you if you think that it is bad try to change it slowly and gradually do not just hate yourself for that do not just feel guilty about it everybody has some bad habits some good habits but we need to just acknowledge them and start working on them. So one by one, gradually and slowly, we can just get rid of those things. With the help of following some rituals or some spiritual life or things or good habits. Uh, again, uh, one more thing that if you just want to establish a good relationship with yourself, you can just start writing about yourself, like how you feel in the morning how you feel in the afternoon start writing about it and start writing what you are missing and start writing what is your passion what you love to do if there is anything that you want to do for society for people okay so through that you can find your passion once you find your passion you will be aligned with yourself and you will be able to work on yourself first and then you will be able to work for others and add values in their life too these things you can Okay, do in that in finding your purpose yeah, of life yeah, yeah? Okay, do you wanna... uh, whenever whenever yes whenever i'm speaking uh, uh, in the sentences to i'm uh, grammatical uh, mm -hmm. mistakes like grammatical errors many mistakes so how to improve in grammatical mistakes and uh, every day i'm reading the book uh, uh, one book i am purchased uh, to how to uh, 
uh, how to talk to anyone this book name yeah okay so grammar patterns see grammar is essential it is foremost if you want to speak correct english okay, okay. uh but your ways can differ you can learn grammar through reading but it should be intensive reading it should be like you sh- you must be reading every single day around 20 pages every single day if you want to learn grammar through reading through listening then you okay. should always consume content every kind of content in english around 1 hour every single day because it takes time to register those patterns in your subconscious mind through listening and reading okay but once they get registered in your mind it becomes effortless like if you are learning if i talk about myself i have learned the grammar patterns through listening first and later i started reading and now i have in started reading practice too so that took a lot of time the process took a lot of time i have been doing it for a really really long period of time now it's been 2 years i have been speaking so before that i started listening to people i started reading so it really takes time to get registered all those patterns in your mind but once they are registered you feel too comfortable because while speaking because this is a natural way of learning grammar patterns so now while speaking i don't need to focus on a grammar grammatical patterns separately i have to focus only the content i want to deliver and the words i want to use so now using grammar patterns it is effortless for me because i have learned in this way through listening and reading but if i talk about people who learn grammar patterns separately like they have a book of grammar rules they are mugging up grammar rules noun pronoun preposition article this that if they are mugging up like learning the grammar rules then they are able to learn grammar rules at the earliest like in i guess 3 months they will be able to cover all the grammar patterns and learn all the grammar patterns but they will face issues while speaking that will not become the natural process or effortless process for them while speaking because for 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 them now yeah for them now it becomes a little difficult to use exact grammar pattern while speaking they have to first think about the content then about the grammar pattern then about the vocabulary so they have to think about all these three things all together while speaking at the same time they have the fear hesitation okay. have the thought that okay the person knows well english or he is better than me the fear is already there and three things they have to uh, think at the at the same time then it hinders their progress and for a second if they are not able to find the right grammatical pattern it becomes really difficult for them to speak and then they get stuck or they start fumbling it happens with many 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 people so if you want to speak effortlessly with a natural way go with listening and reading okay while first yeah. listening okay. and reading yeah. then start recording yourself what happens when you record yourself you will see where are you still lacking yeah. or what are the grammatical patterns you are making mistakes more for example take a topic which is totally about past tense like any past incident okay last month i went to agra i met a stranger or i met a foreigner there i had a conversation it was nice and i made a new f- i made few new friends and i visited that i liked that about the nature about the whatever you are adding here now the topic is related to totally past while speaking you are using past tense your mind knows that i have to use past tense while explaining the inc- uh, incident or experience but while speaking if you are making any mistake in past tense you will get a clear idea that i need to focus on past tense so then you can separately focus on past tense again give a topic to yourself that is based on past do the same activity and like this you can gradually work on s- patterns if you want to work separately that will also help you to learn a little faster because i didn't do it and that is why it took lot of time in my case yes. 
to become very good at grammar patterns sometimes still i make mistake but not that much like earlier it was a lot i used to make a lot of mistakes sometimes i still do but i don't care now okay. because uh, it is a lifelong process and i'm still in the process so i'm still reading i'm still listening i'm still speaking to people so one day uh, i think i will be able to speak error free but it's not possible everyone makes mistakes so what is the big deal in it like even natives also make mistakes so i don't mind much but the major errors you can get rid of by doing this listening reading and then speaking and analyzing yourself and then find and focus on that particular pattern i think i okay, answered okay, your question in a well manner i hope that will help you yeah any other uh, okay, okay, thing that i can help you with and i have another session a paid session at 8 pm so i think we should wind this session up right here because okay. it's just now i have 4 minutes left uh, okay so that okay. will help you try that read write uh, read listen and record okay. yourself okay topic wise you can do it okay okay i'm understand yeah okay, yeah okay i'm understand uh, yeah yeah okay then thank bye you for bye this opportunity You're welcome. You're welcome. It was lovely okay. talking to you, connecting to you. Yeah. Have a great evening ahead. Bye bye. Happy learning. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye.